Hey guys, so I had this great idea to uh, make a guide video. Uh, at first, I wanted to make it on one skill, but uh, I got uh, this idea to give you tips on every skill and how to get them to 99. And I'm gonna try to do this quick, so the video won't be that long. I hope. <laughs> so let's start off with um, attack, strength, defense, hit points. Um, so these four skills uh, basically are related all together and um, I suggest you do slur because slur uh, is a great way to train them uh, you can also get a lot of charms to get um, your summoning up so at the same time you know uh, you get everything up so why not do it now all together then get all 99 uh, melees and then have to restart uh, doing slayer and you'll have so much XP and all of these skills like it's just pointless do it all together it's, it's gonna be great um, next up is uh, range range you should also do it with slayer if you're, you're not canoeing you should it's a great way to boost up your slayer, slayer XP per hour and also uh, get 99 with it or you could just chin to 99 I mean it's your um, option uh, you got a lot of options to get to 99 range. Anyways, uh, next up is uh, prayer. To get to 99 prayer, uh, use the gilded altar. Uh, use dragon bones or frost dragon bones. It's your choice. I prefer dragon bones. They're um, less expensive, but frost dragons are faster to get to 99. It's your um, it's your choice. If you got the money, do it. Next up is magic. Um, to get 99 magic, I suggest you high alk, but you can also just stop at 94 like I did, because at 94 you get a lot of um, spells, so there's not much of a point to get 99, but still, if you want 99, do it, um, I'll, I'll eventually get it, and next, uh, runecrafting, uh, I'm maybe 40, 40 in runecraft on this account, but I had other accounts, and I know um, how to get to 99, trust me. Um, so first of all, I suggest you do uh, ZMI until uh, 92 or even 82, but I'm going to go with 92 for now. Uh, why 92? Because you can uh, make profit um, at 92 with nature runes, but if you can't make nature runes, like if the econ economy uh, doesn't uh, let you, uh, you know what I mean, if it doesn't let you make profit out of it just continue the MI until 99 but if you can profit out of nature runes and if you can also profit out of uh, astral runes at 82 then stop there and do uh, astral runes or you can just continue with ZMI and do the same at nature runes you can just stop there and if you're bored just continue with ZMI so you get my point <laughs> next up is construction construction uh, it's pretty expensive if you have the money do it I suggest you do those uh, I think it's mahogany uh, tables or just do that um, door I think it's mahogany door in your dungeon to get to 99 it's pretty expensive your choice do it or not next is dungeoneering I suggest you leave dungeoneering for last uh, because you need overall skills, uh, high skills actually, overall to get um, this up because uh, that's pretty much uh, what's, what Dungeoneering is about. So uh, also, um, I suggest maybe you stop at 80 to get a Chaotic or maybe 85 to go to Frost Dragons, but that's pretty much it, you know, you, you should leave that for uh, later. And that's what I'm going to do, I think. <laughs> um, so next is agility. Agility, I'm doing it right now. You should come to this course until uh, 85, and then at um, 85 go to Gnome uh, Stronghold and do that course until uh, 90. Also at that course you can get Agile Legs, and at 90 you go to Barbarian uh, course. You do that until 99, and at that course you can get Agile Top, which will uh, help you with um, your energy. Um, restoration. Anyways, next up is hair blur. Hair blur. You um should do it if you have the money. It's same as construction. Uh, spend money on it, and you will get the overloads at 96. Uh, I say, uh, you should get between 90 and 96. 99 is um, it's just uh too much money. I mean, I would just stop at 96. I would get the overloads, and boom, that's enough. But anyways, you should do uh, extremes when you get to level 80 something, and get do extremes like any extremes. Just check up um which 
are the less expensive to make and do them and get to 96. Next up is teething. I suggest you go to Permit Plunder. It's a great way to get your um, teething up. Um, also, I think you can pickpocket monkey guards. They give a lot of XP. Anyways, next up, uh, crafting. Crafting, um, you should do uh, dehydes. Any type of dehydes. Maybe not the red ones, but um, I suggest the blue ones. Do blue dragon hide uh, tops. There are a lot of uh, good experience and uh, not that uh, expensive, but um, they still are expensive. But uh, that's pretty much it. Um, fletching. Fletching is a great. Um, I mean, it's a it's a easy skill to uh, train. Um, it's fast XP per hour and it's easy. You can AFK. Um, well, semi. Uh, AFK, but um, yeah, you should do U long U or maybe uh mid major longs, but um, I suggest U longs. I'm not sure why. I'm just used to doing Q longs. So, <laughs> um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, then you get to Slayer. Slayer, you should cannon. If you're not cannoning, then you should do that because it's uh, it gives you a like a boost of uh, thirty percent. Um. XP boost per hour only because you're cannoning. So, anyways, um, yeah. So let's say you're you get like a, a 40k uh slayer, slayer XP per hour. It will boost it up to maybe 60 or so uh k um slayer XP per hour. So next up is hunter. I suggest you do uh red chins till 99. Um. And maybe well, it's it gives you a lot of money, and maybe you can also do uh, 90 to 99. You could do um those uh, black uh, butterflies. I think it's uh, black uh, warlocks or whatever they are called. Um, uh, that's basically it. They give like 120, 120k XP per hour, and um, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. But I suggest you do red chance cut because they give a lot of money or you could just use them for 99 range it's your option really um, next up is mining mining you should get to 80 by doing granite like I do I mine granite and then from 80 to 99 do um, you can do um, those uh, gold ores at the gold ore deposit and uh, while doing gold ores and using also decorative urns you should um, superheat item that's how I'm gonna get 99 smithing superheat item while you're um, mining and then uh, that's also gonna give you some mage XP which will probably give me 99 magic so that's that's like three skills in one method so that's pretty uh, if that's pretty um good <laughs> and next up is uh, fishing fishing what I do is uh, I, I fish salmon and trout while I'm studying or doing homework so that's pretty <laughs> you know it, it goes up really fast uh, or you can just go to barbarian um, asshole and just um fish over there it gives like the best uh, fishing XP per hour I think and uh, yeah and you can also use fishing uh, decorative urns over there s while uh, high alching those the fish you get so that so that you can bring a lot of decorative urns um, next up is uh, um, cooking cooking is really easy just get to 94 by maybe um, cooking lobsters or monkfish and at 94 you stop burning uh, sharks so from 94 to 99 just uh, cook uh, sharks next up is uh, fire making uh, you could use uh, willow logs or maple logs depending on how much money you have I I would use uh, maple logs and uh, they're pretty good XP per hour and uh, they're not that expensive or you could just use uh, U logs and magic logs to go straight up to 99 if you have the money um, also it's important to uh, have good locations, um, a bank near, or you could just uh, uh, do it in your house and tell your butler to go get the logs for you, and boom, you can uh, fire make dire directly. Um, next up is I should eat. Well, I was about to die. Um, next up is woodcut. Uh, get to 68 woodcut by um, maybe uh, woodcutting um, willows they're really fast at 68 to 99 get uh, I mean at 68 to 99 um, 
train on ivies, ivy trees. Really, that's like the <laughs> best XP per hour you can get. You can get up to 100k uh, woodcut XP per hour or so, whatever. Um, so yeah, ivies. Uh, next up is farming. I'm uh, maybe I'm maybe 37 uh, farming, but I've had uh, other accounts and I have experience in this. What you should do is plant uh, trees or fruit trees. Those are the best XP per hour. And um, if you do two, two or uh, three, um, let's say runs per day, that's pretty good. Try to do at least one, and you'll get a good amount of XP, and eventually get 99 someday. Um, I suggest you plant maple trees. Uh, they're not that uh, expensive, and they're good XP. Um, next up. Well, the last kill is summoning. I told you, do Slayer. It's gonna, it's gonna get your melee stats up, and it's gonna also get use a lot of charms to get to 99 uh, summoning. 99 Slayer is almost 99 summoning, so that's a pretty good uh, way to get summoning up. But if you don't want to slay, then go to uh, Water Fiends. Just kill them. They got, they give a, a good amount of uh, Crimson charms, or just uh, kill uh, Rock Lobsters. Uh, while uh, ice bursting them and you'll get a fair amount of uh, charms too and uh, guys that's pretty much it I hope this guide helped for you guys uh, you know tips on every little skill and um, if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't and uh, yeah see you in the next video guys thanks